Hello everyone, so i like to share with you some more uh, Halloween embellishments that I made. Um, and this is a project for Diamond Eyes. Um, and don't forget to use the code THANKSROSA for a 10% off your total purchase of $35 or more, plus free shipping worldwide. And I will have all of Diamond Eyes links in the description box. Here are the dies that I used. I used the, uh, this one is the scallop circles, the circles. I used the spooky spider web. Um, I used one of the fine bats, tombstone. And then I used the swirly flourish because I just needed a piece of it. And I will show you what that looks like. And other dies that I used, um, I used this one, which is a Brenda Walton. I don't know if it's going to focus. Anyways, this is what I used to make my rosette. But you do not need a die. Um, that's what that looks like. You do not need a die to make these rosettes. Um, there are a ton of tutorials on here on YouTube uh, that show you how to make them. And you can always use your Ed Punches um, to get, you know, like a, like a pretty edging. So here they are, you guys. Here are my rosettes, my Halloween rosettes that I made. And I thought they turned out pretty cute. Um, so I made these pumpkins, as you can see. Um, I made actually a bunch of them. And I made them using these circle dies. And I will have a tutorial in case you're interested on how I made them. So I just want to show you um, what they look like. Like I said, I made a bunch of them. Uh, because someone did ask me for some fall um, embellishments, I think. So I, um, I thought I would get a start. And all it is is circles it's three circles and then i use my embossing folder the dots it's called it's the polka dot embossing folder and that's it uh this is what the back looks like you can see that there's two circles in the back and then there's one on top of each other so this is a really cute way um, to make these pumpkins and i made them in three different colors and three different sizes oops I'm just trying to show you the three different sizes so there are the three different sizes and the three different colors all right and let's see so that's how I made that and that is where um, the greenery from the pumpkins is that's the uh, this die right here so I just like cut it apart and I also use this swirl for each of the candies in yeah for the top of the candies so here is the next one and you can see that there's the tiny bow there's a tombstone and I used the circle and the on all of them I used the circle and the scallop circle um, different papers here's another one I really can't see the screen so I, I'm really hoping it's focusing um, so that's that and this one I ended up putting googly eyes I thought it was really cute and it says scream um, this one that one just says hocus pocus and then this one because the paper of the bow the pattern is um, eyeballs so I just put a googly eye in the middle of, of that bow in the center of the bow and it's all about the candy and then you can see right here on some of them I have that spider web. And then the candies, these candies were here were inspired by Pinterest. Actually these right here. I saw these and if you search in Pinterest, um, I searched for Halloween embellishments because I, I was having a hard time um, trying to figure out what to make. And I found these candies and I thought they were really cute. So I started off with these two and then I noticed that I should use my rosette um, as the base of the candies. And so I used this smaller die right here 
you can see the difference. So these smaller ones right here, no, this one, oh, I actually only made this one. Actually, yeah, all of these, sorry, you guys. All of these right here is using this one, which oh, you can see it just has like a scalloped edge to it. And then the rest of them that are kind of pointy is this one right here. So, and then these are pretty simple. It just has, like you can, you can't even see it, but it just has the rosette and then a scallop circle and a circle and then that swirl in the center, which like I said, was part of that swirly flourish. And then I just um, put some, I made some bows and then just glued it onto each end. And that's pretty much what I did with all of them. And then it just has like a little, a little um, extra embellishment. This one I ended up putting some sequins. Uh, this is from Hobby Lobby. And then here's another one. This is not a rosette, it's just, these are flat. As you can see, these are pretty dimensional because it is a rosette. But yeah, so these are going out to my swap partner. Hope she likes them. Um, now I gotta figure out how I'm going to package them up. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've inspired you to make your own Halloween embellishment. And if you make something similar to these, please let me know because I would love to see what you make. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.